Well, hello, and welcome back to The Walking Dead here on Boot to Plays Whatever. In our previous episode was episode three, which was Above the Law. It was a good episode, actually. Um, I mean, a lot of things were kind of predictable in it. Uh, we tried to start a coup. Didn't quite work on out. Uh, I wanted to get out of there. Uh, didn't quite work on out. And by the looks of things, uh, the coup is going to happen anyway. Looks like Clementine's going to be leading it. Should be good stuff. A uh, little heads up. Just found on out that The Walking Dead has been picked on up by another studio who's bringing back the original Walking Dead creators, I think from season one, in order to complete the series. So the last season is on, uh, as far as I can tell at the moment. So I will be bringing that in in after episode five, uh, which will be the first two episodes, and then we'll just kind of wait to hear. Um, on the last three, um, from what I was reading, they want to give everybody the ending that was due, and they want to they want to present it in a good way, which is cool beans, cool beans. You know, I'm, I'm glad to see that. I want to see it done right because I heard that the last the first two episodes of the last season weren't that great, and uh, it's not a very positive note. So hopefully they'll be able to turn it around and bring us something great. But Enough stalling. Sorry, episode four. Thick in the water. I think they're referring to blood. I'm pretty sure they are. <laughs> Hopefully this will be a, a, a decent episode. It looks like uh, action-packed. La but last episode it was actually, um, I mean, it was all right. Mm, nothing really too unexpected. I did get a little upset about the uh, mm, the whole car fiasco. Previously on The Walking Dead. No! You monsters! That's right. I spit in his face. <laughs> You're a piece of work. You know that? <sighs> Fucking Garcias. Oh, you, you, you shook my goddamn guts out. <laughs> yes, I did. <laughs> And then I bashed your brains in. Joan was in on it. We did it on her orders. I'm... I'm sorry. It is too late for sorry, you backstabbing shitbag. I'll help you. I'll, I'll tell everyone in Richmond about this. Right, Popeye was quite willing to help on out, you know, saving his own Maybe skin. Maybe will be useful. Thank you. Thank you. Ooh, you got knocked unconscious. I needed that. We all needed that. Yeah. So far this season, though, it's a—I uh, don't know—it's been alright. Definitely there, interesting, folks. coming and from I'd a different perspective, like I was saying in the original first episode of it. Um, but uh, as one of, one of the big complaints is, it's not very engaging. Safe. Like you don't really feel not for a lot of these people, and I really don't feel for anybody right now. This um, is not over, Joan. I have friends here, allies. This bunch of I don't know. A lot of this stuff is just so expected. Maybe it's because I watched too many movies over the years, played too many games. But it's like nothing has been totally unexpected. Like I think the biggest thing was the the little girl dying caught me really <laughs> off guard. The brother being alive, eh, not so much because they never explained his death. Um, in the beginning, but it's just like, you know, I was kind of, kind of shocked that he was here at it. I guess I shouldn't have been, you know, it was just one of those things, one of those things. So, is what it is. This game series adapts to choices you make. It really doesn't. The story is tailored by how you play. It kind of is. And that's one of the biggest complaints. It's like, it really doesn't matter your choices. Things are going to turn out one way or the other. Strawberry lemonade. Mm -mm -mm. Ooh, back into very young hobby days. With me, Hermano. Ay, Dios mío. <sighs> Damn it. Strike one. I'm out of practice, that's all. Ah, same here. I haven't held a bat since the league booted me. Well. You got all afternoon to get back in your groove. Oh yeah. Just holding this thing makes me feel better. You doing okay? Uh, I've been wrestling with something. Hey! Hey man, you're Javier Garcia, right? The ball player? Can I get your autograph? 
If you could sign my baseball, that would be so awesome. Sure thing, kid. Oh, man! Thank you! Who do I make this out to? Oh, no, no. N no names. Band player signatures are worth way more on resale than personalized crap. Okay. Just your name is fine. D don't date it or anything. Make it worthless. What the hell is this? You want to make money? Get a job. <sighs> Whatever. <laughs> you gotta keep those fans happy, big star. Let's get back to baseball. No, swing and miss. Swing and a miss. You don't have to start sucking because of me. Does talking like that make you feel better? Yeah. You should try it. <sighs> Son of a bitch. Strike two. Man, knock that shit off. I'm serious. You just talk, talk, talk. It's annoying. Jeez, you gotta learn to relax, David. What do you suggest? Put some money on it? Oh, you know bro. I don't do that anymore. I still can't believe you actually wanted to come here. If I were in your situation, I'd avoid batting cages forever. Well, thanks for bringing me anyway. I needed the distraction. We're crushing it this time. Things are looking up. Because you stopped screwing around. Next time, we go to the shooting range. I don't really shoot. But I do. And I'm good at it. Ow! Fuck! You gotta shut up! Stupid thing. My arm's throbbing. Don't be a wuss. Oh, come on, don't be a wuss. <laughs> I used to tell you the same thing. Mm. He did? Yeah. Back when we were younger. I remember I showed you how to play this game. Well, let this superstar return the favor. Watch this. Whew. Thought I'd lost my touch. Oh, please. I'm done. David. You're leaving already? You said you were happy, so I'm done here. Come on. I thought we'd hang out all day. I'm not going to spend all day as your cheerleader. You're a grown-up, and I've had enough. What's going on? David, I, I don't understand. You don't understand because you only think about yourself. And I'm sick of it. It's been that way for years. You've always been looking out for yourself. You tried to help me. Yeah, let me help you. You really want to help? All right. Drive me down to the recruitment office next week. The Army? My job sucks. Kate and I fight like cats and dogs. I belong. Oh, so he met her before the army. Okay. I had a purpose there. I had respect. Ah, you know what? Yeah, do what you need to do. The army could be good for you. I was expecting more of an argument. Things between me and Kate have been going downhill for a while. But if I left, it seemed like that would be best for everyone. I can't keep pretending this is the life I want. I'll stop I'm you, not going to stand in your way. Well, all right then. I'm not going to lie. If I go, it's going to be hard on everyone. Kate may need help from time to time. You can help, right? You won't leave her hanging? I need to know that. You can count I'll me, bro. I'll be there for them, since you won't. If you want to go, you should go. Thank you. I really mean it. We good? Yeah. We good. Come on. Let's get out of here. So he was just a jerk before beer. the army, too. I figured maybe it was an army thing, but now he's just always been a jerk. Okay. Okay. Get in there, you two. I say back to the present. Joan's gonna figure out what to do with you. She's making a huge mistake. 
though you made a mistake when you tried to attack her. Hey, everybody just take a breath, all right? Salt and pepper. I was just Blue trying jets. to tell them that's your mistake right there. You can't fight everybody. Understand that Joan's not looking for revenge. She just wants order. Cooperation is the name of the game. There's still a way through this, but you've got to let Joan enforce the laws. You do anything she tells you to do, huh? Go along with whatever she says just to keep your place. It's not like that. Joan's got a tough job. She needs all our help to keep this place safe. You boys want to make it out of here. Just relax and trust in the process. Your process sucks. I hope he does remember that. <sighs> after I brought you in, after I saved your asses, this is how you treat me. Betrayal, what? lies. It's it was not too safer, risky man. to stay. I was trying to keep Kate safe. I had a plan for that. You fucked it up. Do you see what Joan's doing? This is a power grab, pure and simple. I could have found a way to protect all of you. But now? Now you're all on your own. You gotta still have some friends here, right? She managed to flip Clint and Lingard to her side somehow. Without them, it's hopeless. Well, Lingard's a freaking drug it's addict. everyone out for themselves these days. Joan played you. And that sucks. I get it. But now you've gotta stop sulking. And decide what you're gonna do about it. I already had a plan and you ignored it. I did the best I could. Can't say I never tried. I have always given 100%. Oh yeah? Tell that to Kate. You left her behind once already. Maybe it's time you try a different way. Shut up. <clears throat> you're dead to me. If we get out of here, you're on your own. I'm through with you. That's right, he deserved it. You wanna tussle, bro? Typical brothers. Fighting like boys. You bitch. I fucking trusted you! Careful! Don't give him a concussion. I came here to talk, not fight. You're not gonna be a problem, are you? I just want a calm discussion. Between us. I won't be a problem if you let us go. In fact, I may even be friendly. I'm sorry. I can't do that. But I like what you're trying to do. It's sad how we ended up here. But Clinton Lingard agree. You've become a problem. Tomorrow morning, I'm going to call for a gathering in the square. The people deserve to hear a full explanation of your arrest. And then? Then you'll be replaced as head of security. No one's above the law, David. Not even you. I know the laws, Joan. You're the one breaking them. Your scheme is going to blow up in your face. You just wait. I really hope not. I'm responsible for the lives of everyone in this community. You set me up. Everyone's going to see through your lies. I did what I had to do to keep the people of Richmond safe. They're going to see that. And they'll also see that the biggest threat to them right now is you. Bullshit! I understand you're angry with me, but let's talk about it in private. Bring him with us. Cool glasses go, bros. Goes. Screw this. Gotta get out of here. Yep. I like it. I like this plan. Let's get the hell out of here. Now let's look at this. Can I rip something out of it? No time to rest. Well, it's not what I was really thinking, but... That doesn't look very sturdy. There we go. Give me this pipe. Cranking on this pipe. I'm a blood murder by I trade. Sweet. Now I can make a little periscope. about the kind of day I'm having. Yeah. So imagine there's a vent around here somewhere. 
Let's see. That's too small. And this door. I'm not going to use a pipe on that. Bingo! What do we got in here? Nothing. Uh, nothing useful here. Oh, okay. Could squeeze through there. That's oh, got those bars on it. What happens if I stand on this? I just feel a little taller. Hmm. I'm not gonna get up there from this bench. Okay. What about that plant? Can I look at the plant? Yeah, let's use the pipe on the door. The steel door. That's a good idea. Gonna grab this little bench. Do -do -do. Bench. This little stool. This stool. Nice. Nice. Freaking glass. Oh, hello. Oh, good bars. Javi. Oh. Kate. I wasn't sure how I was going to find you. Then I heard the glass breaking. You're alive. Sure wow. wasn't Stone Cold Steve Austin. You escaped the guards. Mm -hmm. Barely. We gotta get you out of here. Take this. Help me pry these bars off. Give it a push from your side. Sure thing. Thanks, Kate. Now, give me a hand. So, hope gives me the choice of running or staying, because I'm going to run. That's what I'm going to do. Survival is key. Brain herbs? Brain herbs? What's all that noise? It's a herd. They've got this place surrounded. Oh, great. Come on. <sighs> that makes this escape way. a little tricky. Where are you taking me? Eleanor found a place. Gabe's there with the others. We've been hiding out there. For as long as we can, anyway. How safe is it? Safe enough, for now. But we should hit the road as soon as we can. I we agree with this plan. Moving. Where are the patrols? Oh, they're around. I had some close calls on my way to find you. Almost got caught. But I got lucky. You must be feeling better if you're sneaking around like this. I'm not Seriously. Really, but I'll get my rest when we're safe. All clear. Come on. I saw them take David from the quarantine building. Yeah. How's he doing? Same old, same old. I can't be his wife anymore, but he doesn't deserve to be locked away. I didn't tell him anything about how you feel. He's going to figure it out eventually. Maybe, but he's busy with more important things right now. Oh, duck and dodging. Brain ibs? The hell does that even mean? I think it's clear. Let's move. Okay, lead the way. Before they find the room empty. I think they want me more than you. If they spot us, don't be afraid to leave me behind. That's not going to happen. Mm hmm. So is she gonna die? What's gonna happen here? Two episodes left. No, somebody's gonna die. Place. Maybe we both die. Blaze of glory. There's a lot of activity all of a sudden. I don't like this. I don't like those cargo pants. Come on. 
Let's get inside. Oh, that took a while. 20 minutes on end, and it's awesome presents. Welcome to Richmond. Oh, there's freaking Pudding Face. Really? They're gonna make a whole scaffolding for this? These people got too much time on their hands. It's like, we're gonna make a scaffolding for this huge event while the walkers gather outside. America. Episode four. Oil is thicker than water. Hmm. Good to see you, Avi. Really, your goofy face and everything. It's great to see you, Gabe. I didn't expect to see you again so soon. Yeah, well, things have changed. I just can't do this now. Oh, hey. Uh, hey. Trip, look who's here. Hey, guys. Uh, hey, <clears throat> where have you been? Really, he and this time he. Uh... Joan threw me and David in jail, if you can believe it. Great. He so chose this time to confess his love? To hate us. It's some poor time. What is going on here in Richmond? You know more about this place than the rest of us. What do we do? We just can't trust Joan. She's trying to remove David from power by pinning murders on him. Told you we couldn't trust him. I want to go save my dad. Right now. He do you not help. understand... What's going on? We need a plan first. Javi. Make sure it's the way to go. Good. The last time you scrapped the plan and got yourself caught. Fair enough. So we gotta make sure we don't screw this up. Have you guys even looked out the window? Go look for yourself. Yeah. <sighs> got two crowds. Walkers in one and people in the other. Oh. Oh, oh man. Shit. Javi, even if you did get your brother free, you're not going to be able to go anywhere. Wow. As much as I don't want to be here. You sure are glad we didn't stumble into that on our own? <sighs> Fuck. Yeah. Can you imagine? I'm not sure it's much safer in here. Yeah. I think the entire world's fucked right now. It seems like we're in danger within this place and without. I, for one, would feel a whole lot safer with a few more guns to protect ourselves. I'd feel a lot safer if there was an exit route that right didn't now? involve us walking through that horde. That's crazy. If we're really going to make it out of here, we have to be ready to shoot our way out, right? 
Yeah, right. Good. I know where there's guns. My dad showed me. There are lots. I can take us. Okay. Sounds like a plan. We'll get back here as soon as we can. Good luck. Come here. Kate, I... Just be careful. Look, Javi, I, I don't know if you heard us, but I think I fucked it up with Eleanor. We can talk on the way. I, about that, I, I don't think I can leave this apartment with things like this between me and her. It's just not right. I know you must have at least heard something. You're being an idiot. Now isn't the right time for this. You just don't understand. Just shouldn't have pushed it with her like I did. Wasn't fair. Too much going on already. Right? Yeah, Bobby, that's why I called on. you an idiot. Just give us a minute, pal. I'm sorry, buddy. I just I don't know what to do. <sighs> give it With time. What's going on here? Everybody. I want to say get over it. Try to wait for the right time. Maybe she'll come around. <sighs> uh huh. Right. That bad say he better remember okay. that. Good luck out there. Like that's just piss poor timing on his part. I'll talk it over with Eleanor and watch over things here. You've got my word. I won't let anything happen to anyone. Thank you. Javi, come on. Good luck. Uh, yeah, because those two women need guarding. Chip, nice guy. Stupid as hell. Nice guy. Right now I'm going to confess my feelings in the middle of all this horribleness. Like, I can understand maybe if they're about to get shot and killed Still or hung or some, something, something, you know? You'll be fine. Like death was impeding, okay. but this will be great. We got yeah. this. Yeah. Slow Not down, that. buddy. I've done this before, Hobby. No, you haven't, Gabe. Not really. Some decisions, you make them in a split second and then have to carry them the rest of your life. You understand? What do you mean, Hobby? Just be careful. People aren't muertos. They can shoot at you. I know. Then you know to be quiet and stay hidden. Valuable life lessons. So I'm gonna die. Hmm, another pudding face. So, we stay hidden and quiet? If we could just slip past quietly, it'll make our job a lot easier. Okay. We don't want to make any noise and attract any attention. Hey, I can go talk to him while you sneak inside. I'll distract him. You won't do anything to me. That's a good idea, Gabe. That's a good idea, Gabe. I, I can do this. Excuse me, sir. Hey! Oh, hey. I saw something. Show me. Thanks, you. Very nice. But then again, that guy might be a chomo. <laughs> so that was a horrible idea. I thought I saw something. Sure, kid. Take me to where it is. Well, I hope he, uh... Tell me exactly where it was that I need to go. If not, this is bad. Wait, is that thing still operational? Well, I guess I can just walk to the side of it. Is that game? Told you it would work. Good work, buddy. So what happened to the guy? Like seriously, what happened to the guy? It's down here. The guns are through that door. Am I gonna get double crossed by him? 
for a key either. And I saw that fire extinguisher. Yep. Have to do this the hard way. Yeah, that's making a lot of noise, man. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, the postal service, huh? Memories. I love how he does that old Casey Jones style, puts it in his back. Like, what is harnessing? What What do you got that's able to hold that bat like that? Put these in your bag. It's got a little piece of string. Get the hell out of here. There's no way he'd be able to pull that off. never done this before. Just you and me. We make a pretty good team, right? The uncle nephew one two punch. No, we're not it's done. not over yet. We need to keep our heads in the game. Ah, you're right. Ooh. Drop it. What the hell are you doing here? What are you doing with all that? Yeah. Trying to help. I know you're pissed at me, but I want to do the right thing. For your brother. For him, for the rest of my family, for everyone. Yeah. It was a shit thing to do, fucking off on me like that. I know. I... Why didn't you meet me at the stronghold? We had a plan. I just can't be a part of what's going on in New Richmond. The lying and the stealing. You sound just like your brother. I know he'd want me to help you. No matter what. But why should I trust you now? As far as I can tell, you're nothing but trouble. Yeah. We need you. A lot more than you need us, I know, but we need you. That's about the most pathetic plea I've ever heard. That's correct. <laughs> you're lucky I've got a thing for underdogs. Okay. You know I'm in. And it looks like you could use all the help you can get. Awesome. I gotta grab something else real quick. Meet me by the front in five. Okay. So we might not have been able to convince her? How would that have turned out? I wonder. She has a soft spot for pathetic people. <laughs> Come here. Oh no, pudding face. Don't do it, kid. Freeze! What? It's a dead. Oh, hello. Hey, hey, hey! <clears throat> what you got? Oh! Goddamn! What? Javi, you're bleeding. Are you okay? Oh my god. Don't worry, kid. I'll be fine. Are you sure? I'm so sorry. Yes, I'll be fine. Don't worry about it. You have to get back to the others. Jeez, I can't leave you guys alone for two minutes, can I? This is correct. He's still alive? Yeah. Just passed out. Starting to think siding with you might have not been the best idea. Toss Sleeping Beauty in the closet so nobody sees him. I actually wanted to WTF that kid, but right now isn't eh, not not the right time to be like, what the hell? Let me see that wound. It's really bleeding. You're gonna need that taken care of. Shit. No, it's okay. Lingard and David are close friends. We can count on him to help you. Medical facility is right nearby. It'll be quiet this time of night, too. 
Okay. But let's be quick. I mean, we got a doctor back at the uh the pad. No, don't leave the knife. Never leave the knife. Can they really hit targets over a mile away? Not these, but some models. Javi, it's probably best if Lingard doesn't see these guns. He and David might be tight, but he's still part of Richmond's leadership council. I'll keep watch with Ava. Okay. Do any of them have laser sights? <sighs> so I gotta tuck this drug act into it. Oh, great. Clem? <gasps> Shit, Javi, what happened to you? Ran into a little trouble. Wow, that looks like it must have hurt. I yep. just need to get it cleaned up. You surprised me. Thought you were someone else. Looking for something? Sort of. I know this looks bad, but it's not like... It's not like what? I'm just here to talk to Lingard about where AJ is now. Anyway, I can't leave Richmond with that herd out there. Something tells me Lingard doesn't care what you're doing. He's been out of it since I got here. He's alive. Poor dumb bastard. That's gonna need more than just cleaning, Javi. I can stitch that for you. I can't promise it'll look great once it heals. Well, I don't think he's up to the job, so... You'll be fine. I've dealt with worse. Huh. Let me see if I can find a needle and thread for that. Clem, are you okay? I'm fine. I started bleeding. I know, it's a thing. I've traveled with women before, and, and they all had it. What is it? I mean, like, why is it... I just don't understand. It's totally normal. I, I mean, it's something female women have. It's, uh, what's next? It's not fun, I know that, but Kate manages. You you'll be fine, too. Manages? How? I'm bleeding. It's supposed to happen. You'll be fine, Clem. I, I promise. Yeah, I guess that would okay. be kind of crazy, like not having any guidance to I that. Can take you back to Kate. She can help you with, uh. Javi, worry about yourself right now. We need to find a needle and thread to stitch you up first. Oh, uh, right. Okay, he's not going to be any help. Mm, take a look here. Jackpot. Needle and thread. First All sterilized time. and ready to go. Okay. Open up this. Cody. Hmm. Not much left. It looks like painkillers are in high demand. I wouldn't steal any medicine if I were you. It really doesn't go over well. Ah, put no, those thanks. back. Um, open this. Here we go. <sighs> Just pills. Okay. Oh, there's a left side of this cupboard. That's just penicillin. Pills. Not what I'm looking for. Uh, do, do, do. Um. Uh, let's talk to her for a second. Give her these hey, maxi pads. This is just what you're looking for. They help you handle it. Kate will take care of you. I think I remember how to do this. <sighs> okay, hold still. Try not to breathe. 
Look, I know I'm probably not the best person to talk to about that stuff before. You weren't that bad. Thanks for, you know, being here. Basically, all this means is you could become a mom, if you wanted. Funny. I already felt like a mom. Jane said I was more of a mom than she'd ever be. Ooh, flashback. This stinks. Literally and figuratively. At least this is the last of them. From here on out, we have housed to ourselves. Sounds nice. I really right? don't like what they did with Jane. Now we just need some disinfectant. Get that smell out of there once and for all. Sounds great. Just you, me, and the goofball. Oh, good. Ugh. This is the kind of shit Kenny was capable of. Carver deserved what was coming to him, of course, but that's just brutal. I don't know how you could even watch that. It must have been brutal. And the sounds he must have made? Ugh. Watching that made me stronger. That's what the world is really like now. We all have to get used to it sometime. Jane will remember that. Let's get out of here. Until she hangs Never herself. Never look at that sick fuck's body again. Here. That's, point, that's pointless. I've got what the, the hell's the point ball. in this? Hope he hasn't eaten too recently. He hasn't. Good. The last thing I need is to be covered in puke again. Don't puke on me, kid. You hear me? Oh no, rockers! Remember what I taught you. Sweep and stamp. We can get out this way. Hmm. You know, I was pretty worried about you back there. But I guess I didn't need to be. You had things handled. Like usual. That's because I learned from the best. I'm glad you're okay. If only Rebecca could see you two together. You guys don't even need me. They just get in the way. You're more than capable on your own. You proved that back there. You're family. We're all family. Rebecca would feel the same way. Thanks, Clem. Go on, take him. He wants his other mom. Thanks, Clem. We'll always have each other. As long as we have that, we'll be okay. Mm. <laughs> Point.
pointless interactions. Now oh, back to where it all began. Whoa there, Clem. It's just me. Straight up, I ain't gonna yell anything. Just gonna draw my knife. What the hell do you want? I know how pissed you are, Clementine. Spitting on David really got that message across. Believe it or not, I'm actually sorry about what happened. It wasn't easy for any of us. I'm going to get AJ back. You can't keep me away forever. That's just not going to happen, Clem. Look, it's not much, but here. Oh yeah. David wanted you to have that. AJ drew it just after you. This. Thank you. You're welcome. Consider it a peace offering. We care about you. Just try to remember that even if it feels wrong, people can still be trying to do the right thing by you. Listen, it's dangerous out here, and right now, you're hurting. Whatever you do, you can't let what happened get to you. You need to keep a level head. Plan for after that. You're strong, but that won't get you far if you don't know what you're doing. Or where you're headed. I could maybe find some others. Town or something. We all have to fit in somewhere, right? Mm. Just because it didn't work out with us doesn't mean you won't find happiness somewhere else. Don't stop looking. For me, staying alive has always been about finding people I could trust as much as they trusted me. That's what the new frontier has been. A silver lining. Made me feel worth a damn. Kept me going in the worst of times. You'll find yours. I know you will. Someone or something. I used to have Lee. You never mentioned him. He took care of me for a while. Every time I would look at AJ, I could hear him in my head, helping me, guiding me. He's still with you, you know, here. So is AJ. From the first time we met right here, surrounded by absolute hell, you and AJ were a light in the darkness. Hope for a better world. That's who you are. Promise me you'll never lose that light. Please. It's what makes you special, Clem. Okay. I promise. You're a tough kid. Don't change. Tough kid. <sighs> I I'll should be get back, back to lady. before anyone notices I'm gone. Those good people you mentioned before? The ones you said would be out there? Well, there's an old airfield about 10 or so miles south of here. Prescott. There are definitely good people there. I'm sure they'll take you in. I'll miss having you around, Clem. It's like the You're game really to wants me to, uh, to hate on her, hey, but if you get a goody-goody, it's going to pay off a little bit better. Gotta think things through. Stay level headed. Gotta look at the end game. Short game is too narrow. That's what keeps me going. There's things I have to stay alive to do. <sighs> so, 
What do you think? I think I'm getting better. I owe you one. Add it to the pile. So are we gonna kill Lingard? Is that what's gonna happen here? You coming? I still have to ask Lingard about AJ. <sighs> Hello, Clementine. Javier. Thought you were rotten in a cell with David. Did any chance he got out too? I hate to think about what Joan might do to him. Joan took him before I got out. I haven't seen him since. That poor bastard. He's... He's not getting out. Guess there's only one sure way to get away from Joan these days. Why do you care if David got out? He deserves what's coming to him. If you think that, you don't know David. I know he's the reason I lost AJ. When AJ recovered, David was the one who stepped up. Took personal responsibility for that kid. You say that like it's a good thing. I really doubt he was a positive influence. David's the reason the kid's better off now than, than he's ever been. You can be as mad as you want about how, about how things panned out. That's not fair. David can be a good father. Maybe to his own kids. That doesn't mean I trust him with AJ. You should. David Garcia is a good man. Yeah, I'm sure he'd agree with you. Sorry if I don't. I stand by what I said. If David's taken such good care of him, why did he tell me to ask you where AJ is? That's what this is about, then. You... You want to know where the boy is? Yeah. What do you want? I... I just want to die. Yeah. I want you to inject this into me. Hang in there. Tomorrow's another day. I, I can't. When your brother found me, he... He got me to care about everything I'd given up on. My life. Other people. Even this goddamn place. Without him around. I don't want to care anymore. Just tell me where he is! Then you won't have any reason to do it. Hmm. Sex killing the doctor. Javi, I have to know. I've been looking for too long. I can't lose him now. Not when I'm this close. Kill him. All right. I'll do it. Well, where is he? He's... He's at the McCarroll Ranch. A few miles west of here. He's really alive. Don't forget to stick around to handle the after part. I don't want to become one of those monsters. Don't forget, Joan's looking for you and your friends. You better hope she doesn't find you. I've got it. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. We are not stabbing this guy. No, no. no. Uh, why would we stab him? Okay, thank you. Yeah. 
Oh, hey. Uh, hi, Clementine. Surprised to see you here. Yeah, right back at you. You all good? Yeah, we're all set. Let's roll. It's like that makes it known that good we killed him. Ugh. Stupid. Stupid. You guys killed Dr. Lingard. Uh, I dislike that. Javi, you're back. And Clementine. Thanks for the warm welcome. Just surprised to see you is all. Guys, this is Ava. Oh She's... yeah, I know who she is. She's got a hell of a punch. Nice to meet you. Good to see you, Ava. Oh, hell. You okay? Yeah. It looks worse than it is. Don't worry about it. Kate's lying down in the other room for a bit. So you got the guns, huh? We got them, all right. One for you, and one for you. I saved this one for you. No, I've already got one. Actually, it wouldn't hurt to have another. Thanks. Blaze what glory. took you so long? We went to see Dr. Lingard. At night? I'm kind of surprised he was sober. He it's wasn't. It's gotta be a stressful job. Looking after an entire community? He was definitely not 100% there. That's for sure. Sounds about right. Why don't you go talk to Kate? Okay? Okay. The sun will be rising in a few hours. Jones people know we're holed up here, and they're gonna come looking for us. All of us. Ah, for fuck's sake. Maybe it's not as bad as we think. Fucking figures. And there's no going anywhere with those things blocking our exit. They like me, that has to help somehow. Just cause they like you, doesn't mean they're gonna like the rest of us. We're sitting ducks up here. Hey, we can do this. Yeah. We've gotten out of tougher jams before, haven't we? I mean, sure. But this is different. We can't just cut and run. Not with the herd out there. Like it or not, we're fucking stuck in Richmond. Now how the fuck are we gonna put the brakes on this thing? Joan and her people are going to be at the square, right? We need to bring the fight to them. We go after Joan, our problems are solved. Great. So, how do we do that? It's a good question. Joan will probably have a full security detail with her. She'll be insulated from us and from anybody in Richmond who doesn't agree with what she's doing. If there are good people left in Richmond who are against what Joan's doing, we need to ask for their help. If we can talk to the people at the trial, present the case to everyone in Richmond, we might not have to do this on our own. We light the match, the people do the rest. After we take Joan out, we're gonna need some way out of this mess. I don't know about the rest of you, I'm not much of a runner. We've got a truck, a big one, that we used to use for walker defense. It's a little busted up, but it's way better than nothing. People are gonna be patrolling these streets looking for us. How far away is this truck? I'll show you. We've been expanding, pushing out further, making the safe zone even bigger. Can't promise you they've cleared all the walkers yet, but that's where the truck's parked. <laughs> I could spit and hit it. We steal that thing? Nothing will be able to stop us. Steal what? Hey. Jesus, Javi, is that blood on your shirt? You said it wasn't that bad. It isn't. How the hell did this happen? Oh, crap happens. Oh, you're bleeding right through that bandage. It's not deep, it's just bled a lot. Besides, it's already taken care of. Clementine sewed me up back at the doctor's. You still didn't answer my question. What happened? He got stabbed, okay? By one of the guards. Thought you knew what you were doing. You're still alive, aren't you? Eleanor, can you take a look at this? As long as he keeps it clean, it should be okay. Would you guys stop making such a big deal about it? It happened. It's over. Move on already. I'm just trying to make sure he's okay, Gabe. What we need to be talking about is the plan. Oh, I have a bunch of ideas. 
I want to be the one to go after Dad. Just give me a gun and I'll do whatever. I know the town. I know what Dad's going to be thinking. Hey, 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 slow down, would you? You're getting way ahead of yourself. Who's to say you're even coming along, kid? Are you fucking kidding me? Ugh, this is bullshit! I'm not staying behind. This kid's gonna Dave, screw up something bad. He's my dad. I'm going. It's going to be dangerous out there, and I don't want anyone else getting hurt. If we get to save dad, then getting hurt is worth it. It's worth dying for. This right. is more important to me than anyone else. I've got a gun, and I know how to use it. Could you do me a favor and stop showing off for everybody? You're tough, okay? You can handle a lot of shit. You don't have to prove it all the goddamn time. Nobody here is going to let you be a martyr, Gabe. Your life is precious. Life is precious? Then how come you shot Conrad, huh? Back in the tunnel, when he came after us, he tried to bargain with you. But you thought killing him would be easier. I saved your life, too, in case you didn't remember that part. So what? You shot him. You killed him. What the fuck, Javi? Is she telling the truth? You murdered my friend? Yep. What the fuck did you do that for? You looked me in the eyes, man. You let me think the walkers had killed him. He had a gun on them. If I hadn't killed him, he was going to shoot Clementine and Gabe. He's telling the truth. When Conrad found out that I used to run with New Frontier, he went crazy. He would have pulled the trigger. No question. I guess we'll never know, right? Because he's not here to tell his side of things. You made sure of that. Looks like you're a pretty fucking dangerous person to be around, Abby. First you kill my friend, then you get me and my friends on Joan's shit list? I think you need to give us some space, Javi. Fuck that. I don't want to see you ever again. Well, maybe I'd be better off with Joan. At least I know she wants to stab me in the back. You get the fuck out and you stay gone, or I can't be held accountable. You feel me? We can take care of ourselves. Hell, we stick around you much longer. You'll probably kill us too. Okay. I'm leaving. I wouldn't want to be around me right now either. We better go get that truck. I'll uh, get my stuff. Then call you on the walkie when I see things getting started in the square. I really, really wanted to tell him go to hell. Oh man, I was really fighting that. <sighs> it was it was so so very close. Oh man. Mm. Play it cool. Play it cool, man. Just gotta play it cool. Whew. Clem, you come with me to get the truck. Gabe and Kate, you guys hang back here. Be ready for anything. Oh, man. I see what's going on. You're punishing me because I told everyone what you did. Right? Screw that. I'm going to get the truck. Can I punch him? Give me this option. You stay behind and keep watch. You proved your fucking point already, Gabe. Now it's time to grow up and help us. Hey, Gabe. Come on. I need you to watch my back on this one. Yeah. Okay. I guess somebody needs to be a lookout. What? Nothing. Oh, the woman's charm. Back here. <sighs> really just wanted to punch him in the face right there. S at least a slap. You know? No, I don't even want to talk to him right now. I like that. That's cool. So we see this. I see this. I see that. I need this. That was a very roundabout this way of looking like at that. Moves too slow for an escape. Guess they'll be using that for construction once they've cleared this area. 
Okay. There it is. Let's go. Gonna need to open that up a little more there, buddy. What are the chances? I'd say about 50-50. Smart ass. What are we gonna do? We can't start the engine. Not without attracting a lot of attention. So we gotta go over get those walkers out? You steer. The rest of us are gonna get behind the truck and push. See if we can't get some distance between us and them. Ready? Ready. This is a bad plan. Ready. Definitely a bad plan. And I doubt that those three can move that truck, man. Those things are heavy. My God, it's all steel reinforced. Turns out you needed me after all, huh? I'm just saying, I know you didn't want me to come along. You know, I'm just trying to keep you safe, don't you? Uh, yeah. But, but nothing. <clears throat> you want to keep doing stuff like this. You got to learn how to follow directions. Don't think those guys will be able to hear the engine all the way over here. I, I put don't it in neutral. know about that. Couldn't find an ignition key in there. Guess you'll have to hotwire it. Try not to shock yourself. Blue and yellow make me grow. I'll need something to strip the wires. They left all their supplies lying around. Bet there'll be some tools out there somewhere. Ugh. Just try to hurry, okay? Meaningless task. Well, hello. You gonna make, you gonna make me open this? I mean, I walked all the way over here. Crippers. Oh, hello. What's up, guy? Almost there. Try to lend me Keep a hand. While I, get it started, Tell okay? I didn't want it. I'll check on the guys in the office. Clem and I will look out for walkers. Okay. Here goes. And I gotta pry this open and get into here. Wire cutter should help with this. Okay. So, what, blue and green here? No, I didn't want to cut that. Got to connect the battery to the ignition. Let there be light. Look at this game teaching me how to hot wire cars. Get out. Be 
Okay, yay! The square is a couple of blocks away. This is a good place to wait. Do we have enough gas? Well, I'm not about to turn the engine off again. What now? We wait for Ava to call us on the walkie. So, nothing for us to do but sit and watch the sun come up. Well, I know we've got something important to do. I'm teaching you to play Euchre. <sighs> That's not a real thing. It's a card game. Come on, it's fun. It's nice to be driving around with a couple kids in the back seat again. Really we takes you back, here, doesn't it? Just you and me and Gabe and Mari. You're right. This is nice. If I just close my eyes, we're right back where we were. All of us together. Do what I do. Try to think about the nice stuff. Not everything that happened after. <laughs> Gotcha. Oh, come on. That's not even a good rule. Still gotcha. Guess he stopped playing it cool with her. Hmm? Uh, in case you haven't noticed, Gabe's got a little crush on Clementine. He light likes her. You get it? Kind of amazing, isn't it? That in the middle of all this, they find time to flirt with each other. Guess it just goes to show. You stick two people together, something's going to happen between them. I'm just glad it's the good kind of something this time around. It's so normal, you know? Like, as crazy as things get, as terrible and tragic and just plain stupid, there's nothing more wonderfully ordinary as two kids falling for each other. Not that they're there yet, but to feel something that intensely for another person Hey, the falling in love is the easy part. It's the staying in love part that'll really mess you up. It's unfair, that's all I'm saying. That they're feeling what they're feeling right now, and... When that sun gets a little higher, it's right back to the fight. I just wish he could have had a childhood, you know? I wish I could have given them that. Him and... Mari, both. They deserved better than this. That's why we're doing this thing, right? So he can have a better life after everything's said and done? You're right. I know you're right. I hope you know, Javi. Having you there with me, right by my side, all this time... That's what made the difference. You're so sure of what you're doing all this for. You didn't run away. You could have. I'm here so I can set an example for people. For Gabe especially. Someone to be proud of. Someone who sticks around. I get it. There's no graceful way to say this, so I'm just gonna say it. I know we've had moments. You and I. And they're always a little hot and a little confusing, and maybe some of them haven't meant anything at all. <laughs> but before whatever happens tomorrow happens, I need you to know, whatever this thing is between us, I want to give it a chance. And I know the fact that David is back in our lives now makes this whole thing a little more complicated. Yes, it does. Do you feel the same way? I'd really like to know. Before things get crazy. We might hmm. not get another chance. <laughs> Let's go for it. We gotta try, right? Oh my god, really? Really. So are we gonna... <laughs> David will notice that. She okay. will remember that. Yeah. Shit. We're doing this. You do realize we're gonna have to have a weird conversation with David, right? It's the right way to play this. He already got the sense I was pulling away. That would be the stand-up thing to do in this situation. Can I just say how lame doing the stand-up thing is, though? Oh, 
It's super lame. Javi, it's an execution over here. She's planning to hang David in front of the whole crowd. Yep. You've got to get over here now. Don't bring the truck. If they see it, they'll kill him right away. If you can just get into the square. Shit. We got to get over there now. In the blaze of glory. I'm going All I can think about is young guns. Keep the walkie close by. We'll tell you as soon as we. If you've never seen the movie Young Guns, watch that movie. It's a great movie. Good luck, Emilio Estevez. And his best role since Men at Work. Also a classic. And it sounds like a crowd out there. It sounded like Ava got cut off by something, or somebody. Young Guns 2 is also a good movie. Wish we had some idea of what we're heading into. In fact, I just might watch like, that later. Is the whole plan shot, or did she just have a little setback? We can't get distracted. I don't know what happened on the other side, but it doesn't change what we have to do. I just wish we had a little more information. That's all. We're not going to know what went wrong until we actually do this thing. So, let's do it already. You ready? We just have I'm to remember. Now, we're people. Close I'm worth this. We're smarter than they are. And we need to act like it. I wish I knew the rest exactly. of that song. We've got to take the time to think things through. Hmm. Walk into a hornet's nest. Alright. Final scene. Damn. So nobody's going to notice us right there. David Garcia has to be punished for what he's done. Shit. We can't wait for the others, can we? For years now, Richmond has been governed by one simple principle. Strong council, strong community. But, unfortunately, the actions of one of the members of that council, our security expert, David Garcia, have put us all She's in lying to all of you! I'm sorry to have to show you this. Truly, I am. But you all need to see. Just look what he's done. <laughs> David ordered his brother and the rest of his people to kill our doctor. And they were happy to do it. Is this who we want in charge? Someone this reckless? This cruel? Not if I have anything to do with it. Can't believe this is really happening. She's gonna kill him. She can't do this to him. He's kept him safe. I think she's bluffing. It's a scare tactic. There's no way she's really gonna execute David. Are you sure? I hope you're right. Yeah, I'm not right. Javier. She's gonna kill him, I just don't wanna say that. I heard you were planning to crash our little party. Why did you come on up here? Show your face to everyone. I'm sure these people would like to hear what you have to say. Sure. Happy to. Been waiting for this all day. Then I'll try not to disappoint you. What's up, Pudding? We both know you killed Dr. Lingard. Why, Harvey? Why would you do that to us? The only surgeon in a hundred mile radius, but you didn't care about that. Lingard saw what was happening in Richmond, what you were trying to do, and he didn't want any part of it. He asked me to spare him the sight of all this. You ask me, he's better off. Sorry if I don't take your word for it. Too bad you killed the only man who could back up your story. I had a very interesting conversation with your friend, Eleanor, last night. Isn't that right, Eleanor? We did. She said you were coming here to rally the people against me. Convince them that I was no good for Richmond. Don't know how you thought you were going to pull it off. Considering it's all of us against the three of you. 
And that's exactly what I'm planning to do. Appreciate the honesty. Which makes this so much harder. Here in Richmond, people who put themselves before the group don't last long. Bring them out. Get away from me. You're making a mistake. Ava! Oh, no. They had them this whole time. David wanted to tear this whole place down. He told his people where to find our gun supply, and sure enough, they picked us clean. You really thought you could ride into town and stage a coup? With our own damn weapons? Something like that? I can't just let it go. You've put me in a no-win situation here, so I'm going to do the same thing to you. Both of them deserve to die for their crimes. However, Javi, I'll let you spare one of them. Just one. No! Hell no! Don't! Don't! Not after what they tried to do. You may be guilty of bringing them into this, but they chose This to is go good. I like this. Is this the kind of leadership you've got in store for Richmond? Torturing people with your stupid power games? Justice isn't a game, Hobby. It's about time you learn that. Joan, are you sure about this? We never agreed to killing all these people. It's really up to Hobby, isn't it? All eyes are on you. Maybe this will help you make up your mind. Boys? <gasps> Come on, Hobby. Who's it gonna be? Your friend? Or your brother's lieutenant? Oh, come on! This is fucking stupid! You can't be serious. God damn you, Joe. Let Ava live. She's always been loyal. Hobby! No! Well, there's the Hobby I know. Backstabbing, double-crossing, no-good, dirty fucking murder. Such language. But I admire the sacrifice you're making here, Javi. Shoot her. Wait! I said don't shoot Ava! You did, but there's something else you need to understand. Betrayal. Joan, think about what you're doing. Ava's one of us. You can't fucking do this. This is fucked. I can do anything I want. You brought this on yourself. Do it. Wait! No! Oh my god. They really shot her. Oh, god damn it. Now, David, it's your turn. Going out in the blaze of glory. This is madness. Stop her, Clint. Is this the process you trusted? No. Think about this, Hobby. You know what's gonna happen here. Do Are I? You ready for that? We don't murder in Richmond. We exile. That's how we've always done things. How about you take David and the rest of your people and just get the hell out? Go far away from Richmond, and then whatever you do is up to you. I'm sure the herd outside would like that. She thinks she's sending us out there to die. She's counting on it. Everybody, put your guns away. We're going to handle this peacefully. Don't listen to them, Javi. They're fucking butchers, all of them. Shoot that bitch! Take her out! She deserves it! If you don't do it, I fucking will! Let me out of here! I'll tear her apart! Oh, God! Take the We're deal. Leaving. All of us. Right now. I didn't say you could go. Doesn't matter if you did. This is how it needs to happen. <laughs> David, what are you? I don't believe any of you. Take your deal and shove it. They're liars, Clint. All of them. One step closer and I kill him. I swear I will. Go ahead and shoot then. I warned you. 
They can't be trusted. What the fuck? I had this under control. Now you're fucking everything up. Sorry, little brother. She's not gonna win. I can't let her. Oh, hell's breaking loose. Stuck and dodging. Pudding, no! <laughs> All these people are streaking shot. Oh, damn. Is that really wise? Dad needs us. We gotta get out there. <sighs> Go help him, Gabe. It's you, not me. Go on. Will he remember this? You go pudding, that's what you get. Hold a gun to my face too many times. I knew David was gonna do something to fuck this up. I told you what he was like. When are you gonna start believing me? Shit, get down! I hear gunfire! What the hell is going on over there? Are you guys okay? Do you need a pickup? Or do you have things under control? Stay away from the square. It's too risky. We'll come to you. I... I can't hear you. It's too loud. It's kind of a shitty throw. <laughs> Go now, blaze glory. Ooh, ooh. Take his mask. Oh hell yeah! It's Kate. She's coming for us. I'm gonna have to dodge. Damn it, Kate. Oh, God damn it. Oh, God. Javi, you've got to get over there before. <sighs> That's a secure trick, but I'm not liking her odds. Kate! Oh, man, here come the walkers. Good end. I like that. Try to navigate my way through it. Did you promise that you would help Kate with the family if David left? 91% of us agreed. How did you respond to Dr. Lynn Guards Chris? You and 52% of the players assisted in his suicide. 46% of players refused to kill Lingard. 1.3% of the players let Clementine decide Lingard's fate. Oh, interesting. Did you tell Kate that you have feelings for her? 78% of us agreed. Who did you try to save at the execution? You and 58% of the players tried to save Ava. Huh. Figured that. Did you shoot Joan or take Clint's deal? You and 43% of the people took Clint's deal. I believe that was the wisest of the choices, honestly, to tell you the truth. I mean, it meant that we all get on out, we could come on back. Of course, David kind of screwed that up. Okay. So, pretty much on the right side of the law in a lot of these uh, decisions, except for one. It's not too bad. But that's gonna have to do for this week, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, go ahead and leave a like, comment, on down below, subscribe if you're not a subscriber. When we come on back, we'll finish up 
season three a new frontier it'll be good and then we'll start into the final season i will pick it up since it's uh since the studio has been um or the series has been picked up by another studio and then they are going to finish it so i'm looking forward to that who knows when the next episode will be after that uh because there's only two right now so you're looking at three more episodes and then we'll just kind of play it by ear yeah kind of play it by ear but yeah that's gonna be it so until next sunday everybody you take it easy and I'll see you around. Peace.